asking for me to do a surf fishing video for a long time. And I never, I don't have the gear. Like this isn't something that I do. Well, we just got done filming a crabbing video and my buddy Rocky Lawson, I've known him since high school. He called me and was like, yo Rob, come on. Oh, he said the pompano was biting. I love to eat pompano. So I was like, heck yeah. Whoop, bluefish. Look at that, y'all. A lot of people like to eat them, but I'm after a pompano. Check this out. This rod is custom made. It's 14 feet long. It's got like a 1985 ambassador on it. This is my buddy, this is Rocky Lawson. I have known this rascal for 30 years. He is a surf fishing master. A lot of people think that pompano have poor eyesight. So you add a little visible float that will sort of float and get this, this uh, sand flea up off the bottom. Let me see if I can cast this thing without getting a backlash. Perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna walk this thing back. Just reel it up till it's tight. Not, not to where it's gonna drag in. And then you wanna back off of your drag enough so that if you get a fish on, there's a lot of sharks on the beach. They will eat your fish and if you're over there tying a rig or untangling one off of another rod, the shark grabs it, you're gonna lose your rod. So you want them to be able to pull that thing out if, uh, if a shark gets it. Yeah. Heck yeah, y'all. I'm telling you, I have not been here 15 minutes. I was just up there rigging my other rod. Got him on. what I'm talking about. That looks like dinner for the Arrington family. So this is a rig that I just rigged. It's a three hook dropper. I got chartreuse and orange. And you see this little thing right there? That's called an easy bite. It's uh, right here, easy bite. And this is sand flea flavor. It's cheap, it's only $8 for this whole bag and you can use it all day. Then in the middle, I've got the white float with a little bit of a easy bite and then chartreuse on the bottom. A little bit of a variety of colors. You wonder, why would I put this on there if I've got a sand flea? I just caught a double. I'm confident while I was fighting the one fish, I felt the other fish bite it while it was running around. So, if let's say one of the fish comes in and eats the sand flea and takes it off, there's still some goody on there. There's still something there it's orange, it's white, it's gonna be darting around in the water. Fish is gonna come in and eat it, give you a second chance to catch that fish. Now, look at that, that's a pretty rig right there. Okay, and hey, I apologize, it's windy, it's rough, it's nasty, but this is having fun and I'm glad you're with me. Florida Pompano. I'm telling you, this is the craziest video I've ever made because I wasn't planning on making a video. I don't have a wireless mic. The wind's blowing. We've gotten water all over the camera. I have no idea how this footage is, but man, I hope you enjoy it because this, this is what I grew up doing, just fishing. It didn't matter what you're fishing for, but man, here we are catching one of the prized possessions of South Florida. Oh, this is my hot rod right here, y'all. <laughs> yeah, boy. Woo, woo. I had two on there, one came off. 
Okay, so that's totally a keeper. Absolute beautiful fish. I'm only allowed six, so I'm gonna try to catch one more big one and let him go. place to me. Hey, that's it. We're out of bait. We'll see what happens. But we've only been here 45 minutes and we've caught us a bucket full of fish. What a blessing of a day. Oh, fish right here. This is a giant, bro. He was just running drag on me. Just as I was about to catch this fish, the guy down there kite boarding, I thought I was gonna have to go rescue the guy, but somehow or another, he got that sail or that kite back up in the air. Dangerous out here, this ocean is unforgiving. And now here we are back at the house, out of the wind. I'm telling you guys, that was the most impromptu fishing trip, fishing show I've ever made in my life. And it's all because of that crazy rascal right there, Rocky Lawson. I always see people, they, they try to go like this and get all this meat that they can. This is how we used to do it when I learned, when I worked in the fish house years ago. Take and cut down here like this, and you cut through the head, and you get all the solid meat right there. And uh, it's really the basic difference. Then you take the insides out. Just over there, good. Then you just come along the back like you would a normal fish. Okay. Pompano has a lot of meat in the rib cage, so you don't want to go above. You want to just cut right through the rib cage. Uh, when you do a bunch of them, you should get good enough where you can do it in about three three swipes. Now look at that. Perfection, you guys. What do you think, Austin? I'm amazed. I'm definitely gonna do it the way he just filleted them. So you wanna go as, as close to the rib cage as you can as you peel them off because they're, there's a ton of meat under the rib cage. I mean. Look at that. That is a boneless piece of beauty. Now, how do you cook your, your pompano? I like to bake them with uh, some lemon, butter, Everglades seasoning. Oh, goodness. <laughs> some slivered almonds, squeeze a little lemon. Almonds, you want to put them on at the end and just kind of brown them on the top. It'll give it a nice crunch, the flavor of the almonds, and uh, they're delicious. All right, you guys, and now it's time to cook. But before I do, I wanna give a huge shout out to Peyton Lawson, that's Rocky's son. And I wanna tell you personally, man, you have an awesome dad, you should be so proud. 
Also, we're gonna get together and go on a fishing trip very, very soon together. So thanks for all the support. Thanks for liking the channel. Um, this is really easy. We've got one of these pompano fillets right here. Make sure that you dry it off. Like I rinsed it off in water and dried it off. The reason is, I'm gonna put it in this little bowl right here, just like that, and put a little bit of olive oil on it. Just like that. And then just sort of like rub it around and get some oil on the skin. Just like that. That's gonna give it a nice, lovely flavor. It's also gonna keep it from sticking to the pan. As if this is not already easy enough, we're gonna take some Everglades fish and chicken and just gently, not a ton, just about like that. And you know what? Ready to throw it in the oven. We've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. Put it in there just like that. Now, we're gonna leave it in there and start watching it. As the bottom starts to turn white, then we're gonna turn on the broiler and add slivered almonds. All right, that's what I'm talking about right there. See how the bottom is getting white? That means the bottom is getting done. The top is not done yet. So let's make the magic happen. Take some of these beautiful almonds, put it right on top. You could do this with an entire tray full of pompano, but I'm just doing it with one. All right, you guys. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. Look at this, see how it's nice and non-stick? Right on the plate. There you go, fresh. Pompano Almondine. Rocky, thank you so much for the inspiration. More importantly, thank you for the call. It's awesome when you have a friend say, hey, the fish are biting, let's go. And uh, had a great day. Now, let's taste it. And we cooked it with the skin on. See, there's the skin. And all you've gotta do is just take your, your fork and this, the meat comes right off. You can eat the skin, but That is so good. That is so good, I cannot express it to you. Pompano has a nice, rich, buttery flavor. It's, it's got a little bit of oil in it because we cooked it on the skin, but the flavor just keeps coming. The almonds add such a nice crunch to it. Oh. Definitely, I'm saying this in all honesty, one of the top three or four fish dishes I've ever made on deer meat for dinner. That is so good, my mouth is flooding with saliva right now. I feel like Pavlov's dog. Now I'm gonna try it with, oh, I'm gonna try it with the skin on and see how the skin tastes. Little, little, little bit more fishy flavor, but still absolutely delicious. Mm. Winner, winner. I'm eating a pompano for dinner. Appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot for being a part of this. Drop a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know what else you want to see us do. We have some incredible videos coming up. Lots of stuff I gotta tell you. But for now, that's all I got. Take care, God bless, and we go.